And that's, that's the best answer I can get. I have Martel Ventures, which builds literally a new company every month. We're an AI venture studio. I know 50%, when we modeled out the business model, 50% of the companies won't work in three years. I can't tell you which 50%. There's just no world where the thing I build doesn't get disrupted by the language models. Isn't it the same problem, I guess, that we always face as entrepreneurs is you have to pick something and just go do it? Dude, think about real estate. I mean, you know, people were doing like single family homes and they're like, oh, I'm getting into short term rentals and then Airbnb and they rode this wave. And then all of a sudden the laws change and now short term rentals aren't cool. And now it's MTR midterm rentals and boutique hotels. So like being in real estate, good move. People need a place to sleep. That has not changed. How that changes is what the entrepreneurial journey is about. I find it fascinating when I talk to a CEO and they didn't realize that their job was to look around the corner. Like, I find it funny where they're like, yeah, it wasn't my fault COVID happened and this. I'm like, I'm sorry. When was it not your job to have a vision about the future and pivot your business model around it? Like that's, that is the role of a CEO. How do you focus on AI first without it just being a distraction mm. to running your business? Now we're talking. I just met with Gary B and uh, for a long time, if you guys follow his stuff, and I mean, he's been first to a lot of things, he'll always say, you have to be willing to invest the 50 to 100 hours to go deep. The podcast, the books, the experts, the networking, the events, like if you're not willing to go through that learning journey, then don't be upset if it comes and it absolutely takes you out of the game.